Medicine is when we have lost our way and we need a way back to our soul frequency, to that place of not only wholeness, but also that place of being home within ourselves. And so all of the experiences that we have walked through have been to awaken that medicine that we carry for the world, not just for ourselves, but for our children, our partners, our neighbors, our community, and to walk really real and authentic with them. So that's why we have to do the shadow work and go into the shadows or to the depths of our being so that we can see them and not be ashamed of them, not hide them away or tuck them, but actually wear them like embols, like cloaks, like crowns of what we've endured and walked through and what we have alchemized through the perception we have of them and also from the medicine that we've collected through each experience. So when we talk about what is a medicine woman, I always feel that a medicine woman is what a woman is in today's world as she's bridging what the old paradigm was and is collapsing. She's bridging the new world. And then she's bridging from an old paradigm to a new paradigm. And she's becoming the bridge of both. And why a bridge? Because she's seeing that everything that was in the old paradigm is what created the fertility for the new earth and the new paradigm to exist within her. So there's no bypassing anything. There's not, um, not looking at what we've gone through as a humanity. It's actually really looking at it to the point that you get such a higher perspective of an eagle that you can see all that we have gone through. And now we're bringing it into a higher consciousness and knowing that that, that we chose to live was necessary to birth the new earth vibration and the new earth medicine woman. Now, what is a medicine woman, a new earth medicine woman? <laughs> to me, is knowing that we have no map here. To me, it's knowing that the purest frequencies live in our crystal heart and that we carry great wisdom within our being when we go inside ourselves and that these inner worlds of visions, of energy, of dreams, these inner spaces that we enter when we're in nature with ourselves, there is where all of the information that is kept in the most purest of spaces, which is that crystal heart, is where we can find the compass that will guide us into creating the new earth for our children's children. So when a new earth medicine woman is born is when she can realize that she is bringing heaven on earth through her own frequency and that she is the shaman, she is the seer, the healer, the priestess. She's the sculptor, the weaver, the midwife. She's the storyteller, the firekeeper. She's the gardener. She is the alchemist, the dancer, the lover. These are all parts of her wisdom, and she carries them within, getting ready to activate them each and every moment, walking with that feminine essence, knowing that she is a beacon of this time, because it's that pure essence of the feminine which knows how to work together, bring things into unity, knows how to go within to access her greatest powers. And she's not here just as a shaman woman 
that connects with nature and the other worlds and her magic to just be put into a box of what that is. She's here to rewrite the stories, to become whatever she wants, to guide the way she wants. This is who she is. And when she walks inside a room, she shifts the whole frequency of it because she knows her presence. She knows what she has walked through the fire and back. And this, to me, is the new earth medicine woman. And this is what we do here in our school. It's not for you to become a healer or this idea of what a shaman is or it's knowing that this is innately part of your wisdom. And you can decide to do whatever you like and however you like with it. You can become an entrepreneur. You can create many businesses. You can be a politician. You can be a mother, a circle guide. You can be a healer with energy, with doing energetic transmissions. You can be activating the earth. You can be an influencer. You can, you can do whatever you like. You can be a creatrix that creates with your hands and products. You can just be. <sighs> Thank you for this opportunity. So in my life, these are the process that I have gone through is going into the fire and back, releasing belief systems that are all of the old paradigm, but alchemizing them to the point that the perceptions and the choices I make and where I put my attention is what brings me into surrendering to that crystal heart. And no matter what happens, trusting in it, trusting in the guidance of my inner compass and seeing how when I do that, it nurtures all. It nurtures all so that everything around can walk in its power and in its pure way of being. So regardless if there is disagreements or people or even your greatest uh, loved ones around are not understanding the process of awakening that you're having. Hold steadfast to that vision of yours and know that as you serve yourself, you will be serving 